here he comes. All right, I got him. I'm turn the tape on now. Stan, start rolling the tape. You got it, Lester. Here goes. I wish Lester would have used the new transmitter. This one's not working very well. Hey, Luz. <laughs> How you doing, girl? Hey. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too, Dusty. How you been? How long have you been? Sylvie, when he leaves, I'll be tailing him. And you and Luke hustle to catch up. 10 four. Kelly, you on the video? 10 four. Jerry, you got the eyeball? Yeah, this doesn't feel right. I wish we had planned this better. Would have been nice. Hey, Lucy, why don't you go uh, trip across the street and get us some beers? Let me talk to Lester, please. Is this okay with you, Lester? Yeah, that's fine. I'm parched myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You don't mind? No, 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 no. I haven't seen you in a while. It's all right. Oh, you all right, there she goes. Keep your eyes open. Hey, look, one of my suppliers has become unreliable, right? I'm looking for somebody I can depend on. A new source, you know, somebody I can expand my business with. A new source for what? Exactly. Coke. But Dusty, I want quality. I'm not interested if it's been stepped on from here to Bogota. No problem. I think I can help you. On a regular basis? Well, I mean, uh, what kind of quantities are we talking about? Uh, three, four keys a month, if the price is right. But I want to start out small, you know? We do some business, we get to know each other, the volume goes hey, man, up. What the hell's What's going on? Hey, hey! What's going on here? Where are you going, man? Hey, man, this place is making me nervous. We're working out someplace else, man. What are you talking about? I thought we were making a deal over here. Hey, we got a problem here, Stan. What's going on? The perp's getting nervous. He wants to go somewhere else. All right, he's made us. Everybody heads up and be ready to roll. Dusty, Dusty, come on. Would you just stay here and get the deal straight? Hey, look, man. You want to do this deal, you get in the car. You got me, I'm gone. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. Jeez, he's getting into the perp's car. You guys get to your cars and get ready to follow him. Hey, Al. Lester's wire just died. Great! How did that happen? Oh, look at that. What'd they park like that for? Okay, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, let's roll. Let's go. Man, I don't believe it. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Where is he? Where'd he go? I can't hear his mic. He's on Main, heading north. We're blocked in. You need to get moving. We don't see him, Al. What kind of car does he have? What's the tag? I, I didn't get the tag. He's driving a white Jeep Cherokee. You need to get up there. We're going to lose him. I told him a million times, never get in the perp's car. Hey, man, what the hell's your problem? Where the hell are we going, anyway? Hey, I don't like being spied on when I'm doing business. Who's spying on us? Could be the same people you're looking for through that mirror. What the hell are you talking about? Look, why don't you just pull over? I'll get out of the car and we'll forget this deal. Hey, no can do, buddy. You and me, we still got some business to tend to. The truck stalled and they can't get it started. Keep trying. We gotta get out of here. Al, this is Luke. We lost them. They must have turned off somewhere. Well, keep looking. The car just disappeared. Al, this is Stan. I can't get the wire back. And I just got his emergency distress signal. Man, I don't believe this. What's wrong with this picture? What went wrong during this ill-fated undercover operation? Several things, really. Some hardly noticeable. But in undercover operations, mistakes, even little mistakes, can be fatal. to participate in what's known as an investigative skills lab. It's important for all law enforcement officers to fully understand the proper operating procedures governing surveillance and undercover operations. This investigative skills lab gives you the opportunity to apply your newfound knowledge in a comprehensive practical exercise. Now let's go back to the beginning of this exercise and see how the proper application of investigative fundamentals and planning can bring about a much better result. Two things to remember, safety and legality. Neither are flexible and both must be constant. Team leader, you're on a short fuse. It's your show. Yes, sir. All right, folks, we have a lot to cover, so listen up. First off, I have SAC approval to conduct a short-term undercover investigation.
provided the informant's information pans out as well as it has in the past. After initial instructions by the instructor, the exercise begins with a briefing held by the team leader in which the operation is planned out in detail. Information regarding the informant is disseminated, team assignments are made, and operational approval, undercover objectives, and cover stories are discussed. The team is on its own, and the success of the operation will depend completely on preparation and planning. Now, let's see how the exercise turns out. Everybody knows their assignment? Yeah. Okay, we're clear on the operation? Sure. All right, now the CI's name is Lucy Firestone. She called the task force duty agent early this morning. She did two years on a drug charge, but was paroled a couple of years back. She's been clean ever since. Word has it that she's been quiet for a while and that she's reliable and she won't try to stiff us. Records in her file will back that up. I want you two to conduct the initial interview, okay? Here's her file. Uh, Terry, I want you to help me with the paperwork. Stan, why don't you get with Kelly on the audio and video equipment? Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. We'll handle it, and we'll call you with a preliminary on the interview. Okay, very good. All right, let's go over the details one more time. Just want to make sure that we're all going to Lucy Firestone? Yeah, it's me. I'm Special Agent Vandermeer, and this is Special Agent Stowers. Yeah. Come on in. Thanks. Um, can I get you any, um, coffee, iced tea? No, thanks. We're coffeeed out. <laughs> Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. Agent Stowers is going to take notes while we talk. It's really important that we get all the information right. Sure. Sure. No problem. So, I understand you called our office this morning with some information. Yeah, I got some pretty good stuff on this guy named Fred Dustin. You ever heard of him? Not offhand, but when we get back to the office, we can check him out. What's going down? Well, um, Dusty and I go way back. I mean, we, we used to do business together. But I hadn't seen him in a long time. Well, he calls me yesterday and uh, asked me if I'm still in the game. I play along with him, and he tells me if I can come up with the cash, we can both make a bundle. So I tell him I think about it, and then I call your office. So what's his game? Well, this time it's cocaine, but um, he deals in other stuff, too, with his pal Richard Rowe. I mean, stuff like uh, counterfeit money, food stamps, money laundering. How about you? I mean, we haven't heard from you in a while, and now you call us. How come? I need the money. Work's been slow, and uh, I got bills to pay. So I got a score to settle with Dusty. What kind of a score? I involved a friend of mine. Dusty messed her up bad with crack, and then he, uh, then he dumped her. She was dead before I, before I could do anything. Were you ever involved with him? No. I mean, we went out a couple of times, something serious, though. I, it's been nothing but business between him and me. Can you give us a description? Oh, better than that. I got a picture of it. Oh, great. All right, so he calls you looking for money. Do you think you can set up a drug meet with us? Well, what I have to do, I know Dusty's dangerous. I mean, he carries a gun. Well, don't worry. You'll be protected, just like in the past. Now, we have to make a couple of phone calls, and you will have to introduce him to one of our undercover guys. But we'll be running a surveillance at all times, and we'll work a cover story to keep you out of it. So all I have to do is introduce you guys, and then I'm out of the picture? That's right. You call him, set it up, go with us on the first meet, and you're done. That's it? That's it. With your help, Lucy, he's going down for a long time. But right now, we need more details, OK? OK, what, what else do you want to know? Hey, Lucy. How you doing? Come on in. 
I want you to meet Special Agent Lester Adams. He'll be working with you undercover. Hi. Hey. How you doing, Lucy? All right. A little nervous, maybe. Hey, it's okay to be nervous. We're gonna take care of you. Don't worry. Agent Vandermeer briefed me on what you told her. And what we gotta do is come up with a good cover story that this guy's gonna buy into. Now, I know you come from Chicago. What part? South side. South side? No kidding. I come from the south side. I know a little bit about the south side. You can use that. Let's see, we seem to be about the same age. Maybe we went to high school together. Yeah, that would work. Dusty knows I'm from there, but nothing else. All right, great. Now all we have to do is iron out the details and make this cover story really tight. Then we're gonna have you call Dustin and set up the meet. We've attached a recorder over here. It's gonna record everything that both of you say, okay? Fair enough? Yeah, fair enough. All right, great. Yeah, hello. Dusty? Hey, darling. I've been waiting for your call. You, uh, you been thinking over what we talked about? Yeah, I did, Dusty, and, um, you know, I've been out of it for a while, but I could really use the cash. Hey, that's my girl. Just remember one thing, it's tax-free, baby. Hey, it'll be great, just like old times, you and me. <laughs> yeah, just like old times. Um, listen, Dusty, you know, I can't front that kind of money, but I got a guy I can, um, old friend of mine from Chicago, I mean, he can come up with a lot of cash and... Whoa, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lucy. Come on, darling. <laughs> you been talking to somebody about this? Well, yeah, Dusty. I mean, but he's cool. I mean, he and I go way back, and I'm telling you, he's a serious buyer. Yeah, I don't know. Serious. Look, Dusty, why don't you just meet him and talk it over? Okay? Nothing lost. Well, what the hell? I trust you, baby. I guess there'd be no harm in talking, right? You sure it's cool? Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, meet us out at the pier at 4.30. Meet us there, okay? Come on, baby, let's make some money. Okay, 4.30 at the pier. I'll be there. Good deal. See ya. See ya. All right, there you have it. The introduction is at 4.30 at the pier. Now, I know we've already gone over it, but let's review the operation again. Lester, you and the CI will arrive at 4.15, and you'll put yourselves right here on this bench. All right, the rest of the team will already be in place by 4. Now, Luke and Sylvie, you guys will move to the pier. You'll be right out here fishing. Now, make sure that you can get to your vehicles quickly because they're going to be following the purpose as soon as the meet's over. Terry. You're going to put yourself on this bench right over here, okay? Stan and Kelly, you're going to be in the motorhome right here. Stan's on wire, and Kelly's got the camera. Oh, and Kelly, make sure you park your car so that you block the exit. Okay. Megan, you're going to position yourself here in the park. I'm going to be in the car across the street. Now, we're all going to be on scrambled radios, but I don't want any unnecessary radio chatter. Now, has everybody got their verbal and visual danger and arrest signals? I don't want any foul-ups out there. Check your equipment. Lester's safety is priority number one. Lester, you and the CI saw it on your cover story? Yeah, solid, man. Uh, I'll set it up for Megan on the second meet, okay? And guys, look, I never get in the perp's car. If that happens, close in, okay? And I'll uh, use my alarm pager if I need to. Very good. Stan, why don't you get Lester and the CI wired? We're going to be leaving shortly. <clears throat> Late. Dusty never was much for being on time, but he'll be here. Wow. Um, so when he um, when he shows up, I introduce you to him, and then I take off, right? Like we planned it. Now relax. Start acting nervous like that. You're gonna blow this whole deal. Yeah, I know. I know. I just haven't done this for a while. All right. Um, yeah, so we're protected, right? Hey, and don't do that. I'll tip him off for sure. Now believe me, we're covered on all sides. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Okay? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. All right. Here he comes. All right, I got him. 
can turn your tape recorder on. Stan, start rolling the tape. You got it, Lester. Here goes. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> How you doing, girl? Hey. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too, Dusty. How long has it been? Some time now. I mean, you know, but I tell you what, time's been good to you. <laughs> well, you too. Listen, um, this is the guy I was telling you about. This here's Lester Atkins. Lester and I go way back. Back to the old neighborhood in Chicago. Lester, this is uh, Fred Dustin. Good to meet you, Fred. We said a lot about you. Likewise, Lester. Said some good things about you, too. Why don't you just call me Dusty? All right, Dusty. Lucy says we might be able to do some business. Depends on you, Lester. If everything Lucy says is true, I don't see any trouble why we can't come to some uh, equitable arrangement. Yeah, that's good, because if you can deliver like Lucy says, we're both going to get healthy on this deal. Sounds good to me. Lester's old pal of yours, huh? Yeah. We ran around the same crazy crowd. Yeah, it was in some wild times, obviously. So now, really, what really brings you down this way? Not of work, man. We're doing some pretty heavy construction down there in Jacksonville. I'm just an errand boy, but it's a union gig, so the pay is pretty good. Pretty good? Man. Good enough for this kind of deal? <laughs> good enough. If we can come to terms, money is not going to be a problem. So we do a deal, you're saying, you're taking this stuff back to Chicago? Right? No way, man. Moved out of there a long time ago. I moved to Philly. That's my market now. I'll tell you what. Uh, Lucy, why don't you go out a trip across the street and get us some beers? Let me talk to Lester. Is this okay with you, Lester? Yeah, that's fine. I'm parched myself. Okay. <laughs> Here. You don't mind? No, 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 no. I haven't seen you in a while. It's okay. oh, you buying? All right, there she goes. Keep your eyes open. Hey, look, one of my suppliers has become unreliable, right? I'm looking for somebody I can depend on. A new source, you know, somebody I can expand my business with. A new source for what, exactly? Coke. But Dusty, I want quality. If it's been stepped on from here to Bogota, I'm not interested. No problem. I think I might be able to help you. On a regular basis? Depends. What kind of quantities are we talking about? Uh, three, four keys a month, if the price is right. But I want to start out small. We do some business, we get to know each other, the volume goes up. Let's start with a key. Okay. All right. One key, 25 large. <laughs> None on your luckiest day, my friend. I mean, I can only go, 19's my highest. Lester, my man, you're not shopping Kmart here. The damn prices ain't falling, man. Hey, look, hey you want quality, you pay for quality. Stop working me, Dusty. Let's just cut to the chase. I'll split the difference with you. But if you want this little friendship to continue, you're going to have to do better than that. Fair enough? Fair enough. One key. 22.5 large. Okay. Cash. Cash. Hey, you know the little laundromat on Glen Avenue? Yeah, in the little strip mall, I know it. Okay. You be there at 10 o'clock tonight? All right. Don't be late. All right. Lester, two things I really don't like. Late and surprises. Okay? Yeah, man. Uh, look, Dusty, when I get there, there's going to be somebody with me there, all right? What the hell are you pulling now, man? I just told you, no surprises. Didn't I just tell you that? Yeah, I'm pulling nothing. Look, man, what do I look like? The Bank of America? I work with an investor. She's got most of the cash. What's this she, investor? Who the hell are we talking about now? Man? Her name's Megan Stone. Her brother's the primary contractor on that construction job I'm working. Look, man, I've been doing business with her for a long time, man. She's a player. I'm no lie, right? No lie. <laughs> no lie. Yeah. That's supposed to make me feel better? Look, pal. I told you, I don't like surprises. Surprises have a bad habit of getting people killed. You understand? Hey, look, man, most of the money's her. She's not going to have it any other way now. You want this deal or not? You're jacking me, man. Hey, OK, let's go. But you listen to me. You tell your chick, Megan, I don't want no more surprises. I want funny stuff, understand? If you do, the deal's off. You got me? Yeah, man, I got you. OK. 10 o'clock tonight. Don't be late. Huh? Meeting's over. Stan, how's the audio and video? Good stuff, Al. Al, I've got the eyeball on Lester. Luke, you guys on the perp? Yep, we've got the eyeball. OK, surveillance team, follow him home and hand him over to Mary Silva. Her team will pick up surveillance there. You guys meet us back at the office because we've got some planning to do. OK, Paul. All right, everybody, we're on for 10 tonight. Megan and I scouted the laundromat, and we got a plan, so listen up. Megan is a second UC with Lester. You guys will position yourselves here. 
Luke, Sylvie, and Terry, you guys are the arrest team. Luke, the laundromat's open 24 hours, so it looks like it's wash day for you. I'm overdue anyway. Sylvia, I want you to pull your van out front and be on a phone. Got it. Right, Stan, you're on audio and video this time. Oh, and use the surveillance van. We don't want to give the perp any reason to be suspicious. Terry, you got the parking lot car. Okay. Kelly, you're down here by the convenience store. And you and Luke will transport. Okay. I'll be right here watching for any counter surveillance and any surprise guests. We set up early again, right? Right. 9.30. Megan and Lester, I want you to arrive at 10 till. Now remember, the CI said this guy's armed, and Lester said that he saw a gun on the guy at the first meet. That's right. Half of all drug deals are ripoffs, so be on your toes. The help signals are the same. The visual arrest signal is when the dope goes in the trunk, and either Lester or I close the lid. The verbal is, we'll contact you later to do more business. Then we'll walk over to the car and just get out of the way of the arrest team. Very good. All right, Megan, here's the money. It's marked. I want you to count it and sign for it before you leave. Oh, and you're going to have the alarm transmitter and the recorder. Right. Our Lester, looks like you're on wire again. All right, got it, boss. Any questions? All right, let's move. All right, everybody, heads up. Here comes Lester and Megan. Stan, how's the audio and video? Working great, Al. Sylvia, you on them? I'm on them, Al. Kelly? I see them. Luke? Got them covered. Good. Now keep an eye out for the perp. We do this as we planned. I don't want any foul-ups. Lester and Megan's lives are in our hands. The CI says this guy's notoriously late. You may have to wait a while. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, team, here it comes. Same car. God, look at him, he's checking us out. Here we go, keep your eyes open. Everything's working well. Got great video on him, Al. Um, Megan Stone. Hey, nice so to meet Megan. you. So you're the one with the cash? That's right. All right. Hey, listen. Did you give me the money? I'll give you the dope? We can all get the hell out of here. I've got $22,500 in here. But you're not seeing any of it until I see the merchandise. <laughs> hey. I can handle that. Right, hey. So there. Check it out, Lester. Oh. Go ahead, Lester. Check it out. Good. Good. Go ahead and put it in the trunk. If this works out, we'll be sure to contact you to do more business. Oh, baby. This is beautiful. There's plenty more where that came from. I'll do business with you anytime. Take care. Good. Go, go, go! Bobby! Don't move! Drop down to the ground! Do it now! Do it! Hands down. To your side, like a blade. Bumps up. Turn your face. Cross your feet at the ankle. Looks good in here. Put your hands behind your back. North perimeter clear. South perimeter is clear. Give me the other hand. Get your Lester! Got a gun. You're a dead man, Lester! Uh, 
You too! Tony Sad. Tony other side. Let's go, let's get up. The arrest is safely made. And up till now, the students have been successful. But the investigation is far from over. The suspect must now be processed, then interviewed for additional relevant evidence. To further the investigation, an attempt to gain information regarding the suspect's accomplices will be made. And a search warrant for Dusty's house will be executed. So the students have a long night ahead of them. But their investigation will be building on a successful operation that was planned and performed safely and efficiently. So as they move on to the next stage of their investigation, we can all be assured that there is something definitely right about this picture.